In early to mid-2014, I was in Taiwan when a group of about 200 students took over their nation's own legislature. Now, Taiwan's legislature at the time was in the process of working with kind of a strange and quite unpopular president who was trying to set up secret trade meetings with China between Taiwan and China, while at the same time trying to buy F-16s from America. Now, most of the Taiwanese saw this about matters of free trade and needing transparency where money was concerned, but there are other things that were going on. This draw criticism from the West, students taking over a government legislature, that's practically unheard of. But Taiwan had a very unique culture. So this book, 21, covers the last 21 hours when the students were in their legislature. I sit down and interview one of the students who explained how it all happened in detail, how they initially took over the legislature. I was there. And the two founders of this movement, the Sunflower Movement, and of course the book explains how they got their name, they were Lin Feifan and Chen Weiting, and I followed them out on their exit. They walked about, I guess, 500 yards, and it took 12 minutes. And watching them, and the massive amounts of police standing at attention, and the patience of these students while the press slowed them down, changed my life. That video is also on YouTube, and this is the story, including a few articles that I also wrote about the topic. 21 changed history.